This morning I'm going to take you all on the journey with me to the stables where I keep my horses here in Dubai and I'm going to show you around. So from my apartment in Dubai, the stables are about a 20, 20 minute drive because there's no traffic. It could be half an hour if, uh, if there's traffic. And we're almost here. I'm really excited because I haven't actually seen the horses in like, like 18, 19 days. Because I was at home for Christmas. And then I was in, uh, in, uh, in England for my, uh, for my masters. I have to travel to England for uh, lectures once a month because um, I'm studying uh, animal chiropractic. So yeah, I'm really excited to be back at the horses. So this is, we're driving down towards the entrance of the stables now. Sharjah Equestrian and Racing Club. I've always wanted to gallop along this grassy strip but we're not allowed to take the horses out here for safety reasons but still a little child in me still wants to gallop up and down there so at this at this yard there is a security man 24 7 on the gate and no horses come in or out of the out of the club without uh, without approval which is good it means no one can uh, can see your horse look there's a security man now waving at us okay so first this club's very big um, it takes about 20 minutes to ride the horse around the whole perimeter of the club so I won't be walking today I will be driving slash riding around to give you a tour now I'm gonna take you down and show you the stables and the paddocks where the horses stay most of the time you can see you might be able to see straight ahead there you will see a large volume of grass that is the grass arena they use that for shows a few times a year and occasionally people ride on it but we're not really supposed to um, but we can take the horses for, for grass on it and stuff but obviously there's no fences so there's no turning out or any of that well placed tree a river look at you you've been cliffed Hi. hey mine hello Say hi to Bye. Bye. Where are you? Hello. Hiya. Hello. Oh, that's a nice hello. Look at you. And VIP. Hello. Little monster. Outside the stable block now. I look like I have uh, I have rabies because uh, Boo uh, Boo gave me a kiss and I'm allergic to her uh, her saliva. So this is the stable block. So this is River's stable. She's only in here during the day, thankfully. I don't like keeping horses in stables, and my mares have access to hay 24/7. As you can see. On rivers only by her face actually she's got Swedish which we've actually managed to pretty much get under control it's just her face that is still um, a little bit sore looking but the rest of her body has no sores nothing so yeah Swedish is a bit of a curse she's just super hi she's hypersensitive to flies and fly bites aren't you donkey As you can see, she's starving. <laughs> this is Boo's stable. <laughs> With mountains of hair. Hello, gorgeous. I prefer um, whenever stables have like bars or lower walls so the horses can interact with one another. Um, it's not so much of a big deal for my horses because they're outside all night anyway together, but other horses in this environment, a lot of horses in UAE and Dubai don't, very, don't get very much turnout, if any so they never get to socialize. But that's not a problem for my two. Boo and River, they stay outside in the paddock every night. So from about 6 p.m. till 6 or 7 a.m. This is their paddock. Had to do quite a lot of uh, 
quite a lot of work to it. Because um, when I came, it was like really deep and full of stones. It really wasn't uh, nice. It was so I was just I didn't like them being in the deep sand. So now it's been raked, harrowed, rolled, and had all the stones taken out. So it's kind of like a little arena. It's not massive, but they have hay nets tied in every corner when they go out at night time. Obviously there's nothing left now because they're inside. VIP goes in the paddock next door, the little monster. Same thing with his paddock, it had to be raked, harrowed, have the stones taken out. Somebody's got a horse there. What VIP? As you can see, the paddocks look out onto uh, the grass arena. As you can see, it's, grass is a pretty rare, rare sight in stables in UAE. A lot of people are always asking, um, do I not have, do I horse not, not, not go out on grass? And I wish they could, but grass paddocks are few and far between in Dubai. And if they, if, if a stable has them, the horses only get to go on for about 20 minutes. But um, I'm just glad I can give my horses 12 hours to be together and to play and to be horses. A lot of horses in this country don't get the, uh, the opportunity to socialize with one another. I think the VIP is going to be here. VIP! VIP's out in the daytime, um, now in the winter because it's not too hot, um, and all night as well, but whenever it comes to to the summer, he'll only be out at night time. Boo and River don't go out during the day because uh, River has sweet itch. Um, Boo went out for a while in the daytime with VIP, but she also started to get fly bites, so I decided to keep her inside. VIP is not at all sensitive to the to the flies, so he gets to enjoy a lot more paddock time. So I'm just going to take a little drive around now and show you some more of the equestrian club. My stables are on the on the right there with the tree in the doorway, and then the paddocks are over that side. So now. I'll drive round and I'll show you the tack shops. I'm actually lucky enough that I get all my horse food, most of my horse supplies, from about 100 metres away from the stables. So on the right hand side here, we have a selection of, uh, of tack shops. Each of them kind of has different, uh, different things. Um, and this one around the corner, is where I buy all of my uh, horse food from. So it's very handy because I just pay in the shop and then uh, then they deliver it, which is uh, very convenient. So running out of food is never something I have to worry about. So that's this, this, the corner shop where I get all the horse food. There's River's Plastic Horse Friend. And these are the grass arenas. Get a bit of, bit of a better view of them from here. If I do... Uh, some photos or tackless or trick trick training with Boo. We'll usually usually use the grass arena just because it looks uh, very beautiful. And then you can see there's the paddocks. That's Boone River's paddock. That's VIP's paddock. You can't actually see him, but he is out there. And then my stables are just opposite the opposite the paddocks. That's where I drove in that road straight ahead. I'm going to drive around to show you the pool, swimming pool, and the, um, the racetrack. I did, uh, I did warn you that the, the club is, uh, is quite big. When I turn around this corner, there is also the riding school area. There's one, two, there's five or six arenas in there. Um, they just have like a plain sand surface. The big arenas um, where I usually ride have like a waxy, uh, a waxy surface. But when I get on river in a few minutes, I'll take you for a tour around that little area. I'm just going to pull in now and show you the racetrack, which I can see there are some racehorses training on. Um, this stables has horses of all disciplines. There's a lot of Arabian beauty show horses. A lot of jumping horses and a lot of uh, racing horses as well. And then the school horses and a couple of dressage horses. 
um, their dressage and the, a lot of the judge, uh, show jumping dressage and race and they're all privately owned horses. Obviously the school horses belong to the stables. Let's go see the racetrack. So this area is like a two minute walk from the stables. So. Right, now I don't tend to canter on the racetrack very often. Um, the surface is a little bit deep, um, but if you can see behind me is the racetrack and the stadium. They hold uh, races here during the season quite, quite frequently. I've never actually come to watch one, which is a bit of a sin. Um, there's also, the racetrack is the inner, inner track here and the outer track is like an endurance track so I use this track quite frequently it's uh it's not as deep as the racetrack so I tend to trot and canter around here I reckon it's about uh, two or three kilometers the loop can get a little bit better view of the amount of space that this racetrack uses When I look at this, it just makes me want to go for a flat out gallop. Although I, I seldom do that. Those were the horses that were uh, cantering when I drove up. They don't seem to be doing that now. I frequently ride uh, Boo Tackless out there as well, which is really a nice experience. And then some of the racing riders look at me like I've got three heads. They're like, she has no saddle and no bridle. Is she crazy? So if we continue just a little bit further around the corner, then we come to, as the sign says, the horse swimming pool. I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to give you guys kind of a perspective. So this is the grass arena from the far right side now. My paddocks are by that line of trees and my stables are just behind that trees those trees and uh, behind that left that built that white building on the left are all the the tech shops I showed you earlier now we are at the swimming pool let's go inside sounds like there's a lot of horses in here right now yeah these are all racing horses swimming's a big part of their regime Blue and River come here anything between one and three times a week. They usually only come once a week when I'm here, when I'm riding and working them. But if I travel, they'll come here more frequently. As you can see, it's quite an operation with all these horses to swim. So yeah, that was the swimming pool. And it actually looks back. The swimming pool looks on the back of the, uh, the racetrack. That's the back of the stadium. I feel like my uh, video tour might not do the place justice. I feel like there's so much to show you. There's so many, like, I, I actually don't even know how many horses are on this facility, but it's definitely in, well up in the hundreds. Hundreds and hundreds of horses are here. Um, there's also, if I go up here, ooh, sorry, I'm gonna break my camera. There's also a, a way that we can hack out through the desert. Um, it's pretty deep out there, so I tend to not. I tend to go out there occasionally just for a walk up and down the, the little dunes, just for a bit of hill training, because Dubai is pretty, pretty flat. Keeping my horses in this uh, in this stable is kind of a bit like a dream come true, because I grew up in Ireland. Well, first of all, the weather's a bit crap in Ireland. It's always raining. Um, but I had, I was lucky enough to have my horses at home, but we didn't have an arena. I had two, two stables and just fields to ride in and just riding on the roads. So to kind of come here and have like numerous arenas to choose from, a swimming pool, a racetrack, all these facilities, it's like, it really is like a dream come true. So now we have arrived. <clears throat> this is, the desert <laughs> so we can ride out here um, I tend to go for little walks out here every so often 
I like to do lots of hacking with the horses, keeps the program interesting. But yeah, so as far as you can see, we can go. They also train the racehorses out here too. They have like a, a track here that they've kind of harrowed. So yes, desert. So I can't see very well from here, but all down there, all of those buildings are stables. Those are more paddocks. That building there, if I drive on a little bit further, you'll see that's the UAE uh, show jumping team stable. They have their own arena and horse walker launch pen that's specifically for the team to use. And then on the right, we have the indoor arena which is my most favorite place in all of the world in the Dubai summer because whenever it's 45, 48 degrees outside, 50 degrees even and it's humid, 100% humidity, you do not want to be outside so the indoor is a, a wonderful, wonderful place on the left here is the Arabian stud where they breed Arabian horses for beauty shows I don't really know a lot about. Don't really know a lot about it, but I've not actually ever even been in there. But they have a ton of Arabian mares, full of stallions. And then if you look this side, I'll give you a better tour when I'm on river. That is the big outdoor arena. When I say it's big, I mean I, I've never, I've, I've never been in a, an arena bigger than this one. There is a fence down the middle of it, but it is one huge arena. The fence is just there to separate it into a warm up and a ring for the competitions. Now we are around the back of the indoor. If you continue straight up that track, there are, oh, my hand's steady. Up that track there are four more barns. There's also a horse walker there. Those barns are only for quarantine. So whenever Boone River arrived from the UK uh, two years ago, they uh, stayed in those quarantine barns. So I'm now in the indoor arena. That statue many of you may recognize from my videos. It really annoys me that the horse is knocking over the jump, but obviously a bronze statue of that size would not be possible without that jump supporting the horse's legs. But yeah, so this is quote unquote the warm-up arena. It's still huge. This is where I ride most of the time in the summer. So that's the quote unquote smaller of the two arenas. And if I walk just a little bit further. I look like a right to walk around with a camera in my face. Or some people looking at me like, what is she doing? And here we have the big arena. It's really good. The surfaces in here are very good. Wax, fiber, seating areas for the shows. They have a lot of international shows here. Arabian beauty shows as well also. But a lot of international jumping shows. The show jumping season here runs from October till about April. So during the season, actually, a lot of the shows are actually at home for me, which is which is which is great. Surface is really good here. You can't really see, but it's uh, wax and fibers, and they take really good care of all the surfaces here. They really look after this place. And then back out to the warm-up, which looks amazing with those beams of light coming through. <laughs> so at the minute, this place is a bit like a ghost town because the weather's cool, everyone rides outside, but whenever it's summer, this place is pretty busy because they split the main arena into four. So the riding school um, comes up here for their lessons. Um, so then most of the time I end up riding in there. I think that's it for the indoor, I don't know. There's nothing else worth showing you in here, apart from a load of empty stables. So there are four barns like this in the indoor. So my horses stay in the same, same stables all year round, but the riding school area um, is used for stabling for half the year. And then the rest, like so a lot of the jumping horses and the school horses, they spend the summertime down in the riding school stables. They don't have air conditioning, but they have fans. But in the summer, all of the horses come up here. I'm, I'm actually quite lucky. I prefer our barn. Our barn, our barn has air conditioning, so the horses can stay there um, all year round. That, that was the indoor arena. So I'm just about to go get River ready and get on her, and then I will show you 
the rest of the stables. There is the entrance to the stables and there is Baby Horse. This is the bench that I mount from every day. Both Boo and River are taught to stand at the bench, patiently waiting. VIP is learning that, he's a little bit more impatient than the mares. But then I've only been working with him for a few weeks. Boo and River I've been with for a long time. Yeah, good baby horse. As you can see, River is hogged in an effort to manage her uh, sweet itch, which actually really helps a lot. So, paddocks are there. Tack shops have done there. This new, it's not finished yet. Um, this new, what looks like some kind of massive complex is apparently gonna be some co sort of tack shopping area. So I don't know whether the, there's already like five tack shops here. I don't know whether those five are gonna move or they're just gonna open more. But I don't think we need more tack shops. I don't know. I'm not in charge, so. So, we're just about to walk into the riding school area. There's also a little cafe here, that building on the on the right is a cafe. And there are one, two, three, four, yeah, there are six arenas here. Good girl. They were having a look at a cat. More cats. There's loads of cats here. But me and a few other ladies, we look after them, feed them, check they're not sick or injured, and if they are, they get the necessary care, take them to the vet. That's one of the arenas. I like, I do a lot, I do all my liberty work down here with the horses. More of the stables. So this green looking netting covers an arena. This arena is uh, specifically for ladies only. Obviously Dubai is a Muslim country. So um, if the ladies would like to ride, and they don't want to cover in their abaya, they can come here and they can ride inside there. I've never actually ridden in there. The surface isn't fantastic, it's uh, quite deep. Um, the rest of the arenas here, the surfaces are okay, but they're just sand um, that they water and water and harrow daily. Haven't actually ridden river in uh, about three weeks, so I'm <laughs> just hopping on and making a vlog on my five-year-old. Oh, she's a good girl, she's very, we're quite a quiet horse. This is just a random grassy area that always has sprinklers on so no one no one can use it but it looks nice. So now we're at the back of the riding school arenas. Here's a horse walker. I don't, again, like I explained before, I don't actually use them because they're not supervised and they're on concrete so if a horse was to fall or Another horse was to act up. Yeah, I don't know, it's just, there's just too much risk. And plus, whenever my horses sleep outside in the paddock, I feel there's not so much, uh, not so much need for it, but a lot of horses here don't, uh, don't get paddock time. So the walker machine's quite a key part of their uh, regime. I tend to, not so much in summer. Um, in summer, um, I don't do this as much, but most days I go for a walk around the club for like a little hack usually takes me about 20 minutes so it's a nice warm-up for the horses and it's just I just don't like to do the same thing I like to keep their programs interesting um, so the purpose so my hack today is actually doubling as a time to vlog and show you guys around the stables so River and I are slowly making our way around to the big outdoor arena which you saw a little glimpse of and then I will do a little bit of uh, flat work there, just walk trot and some lateral work of river today because uh, she's had a break, not well, not a full break. Uh, my friend uh, lunched, lunched her and river, lunched her and boo twice a week, and uh, then they went swimming three days a week, and then they had two days off, so they weren't really. They had a break from riding. The last part I have to show you is just the outdoor arena. I love, I absolutely love this arena. You can actually literally get lost in it, it's that big. Um, it's a lot of people riding now as well. I'm gonna look like a bit of a strange rider riding with a video camera. Here you go. They have a lot of shows here during the winter season and in the summer. They have training shows on in the indoor arena. One of my 
one of my best friends, Catherine, has joined me on the on this vlog. I have. She's going to take some videos of uh, Boo doing some tactless in Liberty, aren't yeah. you? How do you feel about this? I'm used to it. Yeah, she's very I'm pro. Used. I'm such a pro. Pro videoer. <laughs> Night, boo. <laughs> so that basically completes uh, our tour of the yard. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, style of video. If you have any ideas for future vlogs, let me know. If there's anything particular you'd like me to do. I'm potentially considering doing some kind of a stretching uh, video log for people who are interested in like the therapy side of things because obviously my job as an equine therapist um, my job is, I work as an equine therapist so I kind of can maybe do a little bit about that if you guys have any other ideas just comment and let me know